What's up guys, Carlos Amaro here, I'm back at it again with another video, and today it is back. So today we're focusing mostly on back thickness, um, very big problem of mine. I've been, uh, for the past couple months, working a lot on a lot of width exercises for my back, and I kind of like the width of my back, but I've actually neglected completely getting that uh, thickness in my back so now you know when I hit certain poses you don't have that good wing effect so that's what that basically is what uh, back thickness kind of promotes is having those good lines right under your back and you know having that wing effect <laughs> and you know that cobra back so um, main staple workout for back thickness is cable rows I usually for the warm-ups can go up to 20 reps, 15, and I'm basically just trying to get a lot of blood in there. Then from there, I go, you know, about 12 reps. I don't really like the way LA Fitness has their, uh, these cable rows because I can't really move forward as much, so I can't get a really, really good stretch. Um, that's the way Arnold used to do it. If you guys look at the old videos, he would go and he would move forward a whole lot, and then he would go and pull back. And basically what I just try to do is move as, as much forward as possible get a really good stretch on my back and then from there I basically just you know come back and I squeeze my back very important is squeezing your back and just squeezing any muscle when you guys are working out a lot of people will go through the motions people will just go ahead and just start moving and they're like oh I seen a bodybuilder do this but you guys need to mimic the same feeling that's where bodybuilding really comes in you guys need to mimic that pain and that's basically what's gonna help you so right here right after that I did a uh, t-bar rows I don't really like to go like stupid heavy I always need to have control if you guys look at the first set that I did I moved forward and then I pulled back it's like I'm, I'm trying to mimic the same uh, movement and the same feeling that I had for the cable rows this last set though you know always depends on how I feel I felt very strong so um you guys will see i'm trying not to move as much but of course you know it's some some heavy freaking weight so uh i did about 225s and uh 345s i have no idea how much that is but hey i don't really care um it just always depends on how you use the weight and then right here for the i did a drop set so i took down 245s and then if you guys look right now i am moving back and forth and if you guys see right here, I'm, I'm in, a, in a lot of pain, not because um, my arms or anything, but at this point, me trying to contract my back the way that I want to, it, you know, I'm trying to flush as much blood and get as much from that exercise as possible. Um, I'm supersetting both of these. I forgot to mention that. So T-bar rows with um, lat pull downs with the rope. So what I do, if you guys see right here, is that I let it come up and I try to focus on a really, really good squeeze. So the main problem that I see people do with this exercise specifically is they'll go up and then when they bring it down, you know, they're not really squeezing their back. You guys need to imagine hitting a pose. You're taking a picture with your phone and you're trying to squeeze your back. What do you need? What do you, when, when you want to show somebody your back, you go ahead and you squeeze it together. So on the way back, squeeze and then you gotta let it come up and then you squeeze it on the way back that's that's how this exercise really works because people do this and they'll tell me oh my arms hurt no your back should be on fire with that <laughs> right after that i wanted to do another heavy exercise but you know something that also of course that i had a little bit more control i was a little fatigued from the amount of sets that i did with the t-bar row so this is called uh, an upper back row and i'm holding it in the middle so that i can go ahead and again still hit that back thickness so you guys see i'm letting it go all the way down and i'm trying to really get a good stretch again the reason why i stretch is so important guys is because you guys can squeeze your back you guys can squeeze your chest and all that stuff but to really destroy that muscle and and, and tear it you guys need to have a stretch and a contraction okay there's a time where you know you, there's some exercises you can just the, the point of it is just squeezing but with a lot of them, most of them, like 95% of them is stretch and contraction. So see, I'll go down, stretch, squeeze, stretch, and then squeeze. Very important, because it, 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 when you allow that stretch, you're allowing blood to flow in there and good nutrients, and that's, and that's what's gonna help promote a better pump. Um, right after that, I did V-bar pull downs. This is a good classic uh, movement 
a lot of people what they'll do is they'll especially with any type of pull down is they'll pull and use momentum a lot there's a time for momentum but you know at a certain point no so this one you guys will see i let it go all the way up and i take my time because i'm trying to focus on my lat stretching and when you guys pull it down you guys are trying to squeeze those lats together so i'm focusing right in the middle of my back um very important about this exercise is just or any exercise again is just focusing where you're trying to hit so as i bring it down i'm trying to stay away from my biceps and try to stay away from my forearms so as i bring it up i'll stretch it and then squeeze and i take my time because you know my biceps will want to kick in or i might want to use the momentum or a different part of my bag no i'm trying to focus right under i'm trying to focus all that so that when i do my posing and stuff i can go ahead and see that christmas tree effect this that this exercise will definitely help prom promote that um and then the last exercise that i did was again i just want again it's it, it i wanted to go for more of a stretch and i knew that my back could do, do a little bit more so i saw this machine and said hey what the heck i never really used it um but this is called like a let pull down machine so if you guys see when i let it go back you guys see my stomach kind of comes up because i'm trying to get a, a even more of a stretch i seen arnold do this exercise and he would go and get an even nastier stretch and it kind of looked like at a certain point like he just couldn't his body just couldn't do it anymore so i tried to do that and i actually really liked it i'll probably incorporate it in the you know probably at the beginning of my workout one day because it'll probably help with a better pump but this was the last one just about three sets four and right here this is this pose right here is where i'm trying to work on my lats don't come out as as well as I want them to. I want to have that good cobra effect, that good superhero effect. And even right here, my lats don't come out as much as I want to. And you know, when you guys are bodybuilding, you guys want that you guys have a full good figure. And that's this is the point of this video is that I, I give you guys what helps me and what basically you guys get to see my journey. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll be putting out a back with video soon. I'll catch you guys later.